Hi, uh, good evening. I am Palm Praise 2, and I like to welcome you. Certainly, peace and blessings be upon you and your family this evening. Now, I do have an evening read for you uh, for this evening. We are going to go ahead and get into Con After Dark, the ultimate Q&A, part one and two. Why is the Honorable Louis Farrakhan so important? Huh? Well, for this evening, we are going to go ahead and get into take number 14 of this book. And I'm not going to hold you too long, okay? So without further ado, take 14, it reads as such. It's entitled Christopher Columbus, okay? And it goes like this. Around 1492, half original man, meaning he was half black and half white, by the name of Christopher Columbus, allegedly discovered America. I don't know how he discovered it. When there were millions of Indians already here. He was a half original man. He wasn't all the way white, but he gravitated towards his white side. So Christopher Columbus, he had a thing against black people. He had a thing against us for what we did toward his white ancestors, even though he was part black himself. Around that time, they began the crusades of murdering, raping, pillaging, robbing, and spoiling everywhere they went. But historians always try to make it like Christopher Columbus discovered America in 1492. How could he discover America when it was already Indians here hunting buffaloes, eating fish, and smoking peace pipes? Hmm. How did Christopher Columbus discover America? You tell me. That's why they are called the Native Americans. <laughs> See, you got Americans. Then you got Natives. Native means that you are natural to that part of the earth. And the white man is not a native anywhere on the planet. Nowhere on the 196,940,000 square miles do we see a Caucasian man where he was the first man there. Why? Hmm? Because he's a Johnny Come lately. He just got here 6,000 years ago. All of this is new to him because he's a baby on the planet. He just got here a few days ago. <laughs> so when he sees a pyramid in the desert or he sees a monument, he calls them one of the seven wonders of the world because he wonders how you and I built it when he didn't know how to bury the dead. Eating flesh raw and crawling around on all fours, we were building civilizations. In order for us to allow the weak part of ourselves, Caucasians, to rule, we had to bury our civilizations. So we hid them under the sand hid them under the oceans, and put ourselves to sleep to allow them time to rule just to see what it would be like. That's all. Just one big experiment. Because once this part of us was discovered, we could bring it out like a cancer, and we could get rid of it, and we wouldn't have that problem Again, so the Caucasian is 
were really one of the greatest experiments in the history of the universe of the black man experimenting on himself. That's the greatest of all experiments. That's why to this very day, we experiment with self. How? Hmm. By drinking Ciroc. We experiment with ourselves by smoking blunts. We're experimenting with ourselves by popping molly. Yeah, we're experimenting with ourselves by eating as much of the wrong foods as we can. We're experimenting by thinking the wrong thoughts are by having sex with as many people as we can. We're experimenting by engaging in homosexuality and lesbianism or by drinking as much alcohol as we can until eventually we say, Oh Lord. This ain't going to work. Then we submit. We come out with our hands up and we start to make a change. Well, to make a universal change, you had to find out the universal problem. So when you're looking at the Caucasian, you're really just looking at the weak side of your self in power. We could blame it all on them, but in truth, they come from us. They could easily say, y'all blaming us, but we came from you. How are you blaming me, black man, when I'm the weak side of you. Hmm? So don't blame me. Blame yourselves. Yourself. Excuse me. I was singular, not plural. You, black man, are the root of it all. Now here we are roughly 6,000 years later at the end of a excuse me Six thousand. I'm going to just start that sentence all over again. Now, here we are roughly 6,000 years later at the end of their rule. It is during this time that Master Farad Muhammad was born February 26, 1877, to be exact. Master Farad Muhammad was a son of one of these 12 major scientists. The 12 major scientists collectively had 360 degrees of knowledge. Hold on tight, because this thing going to get deep. The 12 of them collectively had 360 degrees of knowledge. Each god specialized in his own sphere of wisdom, right? So in the year one of this current cycle of history, the scientists looked down the will of time and saw Master Farad being born the same way that they saw Yakub being born. They said in words, Yakub is going to come in the next 8,400. He's going to take 600 years to make this new man the white man. That man is going to rule for 6,000 years. So if Yakub was born in 8,400 and you had 600 and you add, excuse me, 600 to the 8,400, you get the year 9,000. And when you add uh, 6,000 to 9,000, you get the year 15,000 or the year 1914. Got it? If not, reread the last sentence because I don't want you to be confused. 
So here on Poem Praise 2, I'll read the last sentence again for you. So we can have it twice, okay? So, if Yakub was born in 8,400 and you add 600 to the 8,400 and you get the year 9,000. And when you add 6,000 to 9,000, you get the year 15,000 or the year 1914. You got it now? Okay. 1914 is the white man's time. Excuse me. 1914 in the white man's time is really the year 15,000 in our time. So in truth, it's really not the year 2021. It's actually the year 15,107. Well, how is that? How is it the year 2021? When we've got civilizations, millions, billions, and trillions of years old. No, 2021 is their time. That's why it's called 2021 A.D. Because Anno Domini, I don't know if I said that correctly. So, you know, I actually uh, spelt it here in the background and I'm actually going to go so that we can hear that word. OK, just give me one moment here. I do thank you for your your patience. And. OK, oops. Sorry about that, y'all. That's my, uh, no, I like to keep time. That's my timer, but one moment, let me get both of my, both my hands on, on the home keys so that I could just type this a lot faster for y'all. Thank you so much for your patience. Now, how do we say this? I, I wonder if I said it correctly. We about to hear it here. Okay. Uh, I don't want one where we hear real long because we're going to get back to the book. Okay. How about this one right here? What if you could make a full-time living online getting paid for your advice? You might not know this, but there is a new surge of. I do not own rights to that. It was a particular commercial. We are looking at how to pronounce this Latin phrase, it's which is the full form of the abbreviation AD that is used to describe a date. When you say 2020 AD, for example, or 1950 AD, it doesn't mean after death, but rather. Anno Domini. Anno, Anno Domini. Domini. Anno Domini. The Latin word. Okay. We're going to get back to this here. And because Anno Domini translates to the year of our Lord. And their Lord is Yakub, the God of this world. He brought his knowledge of tricks and lies for his people to rule the civilizations of the world for 6,000 years. But after that, 6,000 years, another god would be coming to eat Yakub and his civilization up. It would be a god much wiser that would eat up the teachings of Yakub, and that's that man right there. Pointing to a picture of Master Farad Muhammad. Oh, that man so cold right there. He has the knowledge of the universe. He knows the origin of the sun, moon, and stars. He knows the origin of the races. He knows the origin of the planets. He knows the total number of atoms in the universe. He knows the weight of the universe. He knows how to completely destroy civilizations and create a new one. I told you this was deep, but you asked the question. So I got to give you the answers. H-T-O-C, 
naturally. And when I come back here on Poem Praise 2, we're going to pick it up with YKTD on take number 15 here on Poem Praise 2. Certainly go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe, share, and hit that notification bell. You know when I, Poem Praise 2, will come with something new for you. But um, until then, be blessed. Make it a great day, great evening afternoon, whatever time you're hearing this, okay? And it be at thy will. I poem praise too. Wills, I poem praise too. Twice for you. We'll see you soon. Till then. Later, y'all.